Today, we're gonna be making some social media lower thirds using the Saber plugin that kind of look like that. Let's get into it. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So like I said in the intro, we're gonna be creating some awesome social media lower thirds inside of After Effects using the Saber plugin. I've been having a lot of people request that I do some social media stuff or a bunch of different Twitch and YouTube graphics using the Saber plugin. It's an awesome plugin. If you guys do not have the Saber plugin, you're gonna need it for the template and just if you wanna create this in general yourself. So make sure you jump down into the description and get the Saber plugin before you open up this template. It's super easy to install and get put into your After Effects. But before we get started, I just wanted to say that I do try to stream every Tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash Bravium. Also, before we get into it, if you guys do not own After Effects and you still want to create some awesome graphics and overlays and all kinds of stuff for your stream, completely customizable, make sure you check out placeit.net down in the description. My partner link is down there. You can create some awesome graphics, awesome overlays, completely customize it without owning any motion graphics software, without owning After Effects. It is incredible. Incredible. Make sure you check out the link in the description and get to designing over there. But without further ado, let's jump into After Effects and I'll show you how to work the template for the Saber Lower Thirds. All right, guys, so here we are inside of After Effects and this is our lower third right here. You can see it comes in just like that and then it moves forward, just kind of sits and animates with the Saber for a while and then it animates out just like that. We got the in and out points set for you so you can just export it once you've changed a couple things and the changes that you can make are with obviously the name here. So as you can see in our final render tab, you've got your, uh, it says Bravity down here. This is your text layer. You can edit it just like any text layer. You can make it say Bob on I don't know, Bob on, Bob on Twitch, there you go. <laughs> you can make it say Bob on Twitch and then that's gonna animate in whatever you want your name to be. And then if you want to create lower thirds that aren't Twitter lower thirds and you wanna change out the logo over here, you can do that as well. You'll see we've got the icon here, composition over here. You can just click on that and you can replace this Twitter bird with whatever you want. I'm gonna hide the Twitter bird, go up here to my assets and I've got the Twitch logo. Let's bring in the Twitch logo here and then just make sure it scales kind of nicely into this box. Just like that might be a little big. Let's do like, that there and then if we go back into the final render you'll see we've now got the twitch logo over here and you'll see the saber is still blue and up here in our layers you can see we've got a saber layer and if you click on that saber layer and go up to the effects controls where you can change all your saber stuff this is where you can change the entirety of the saber layer you can completely change the uh, preset if you want to make it look different to make it look like fire to make it look like smoke just treat it like normal saber but once you've done that you can come over here to the glow color use this little eyedropper and select your logo of whatever you're doing twitch or youtube you can make it red for twitter you make it blue whatever you want and then you've got a saber layer that matches the color of your twitch lower third now so let's go ahead and let this render real quick and then we'll watch it back here in a second so there we go looks pretty good so now we've got a purple saber layer with the twitch logo and then the bravity i'm coming out just like that so we had twitter now we've got twitch you can draw throw in the youtube one there and then all you got to do is just use the eyedropper select the red and then you've got red saber going around your uh lower third and i think these lower thirds are really cool and i think it'd look awesome if you just had them going one after the other like on a twitch stream to where the saber comes in and then when anime animates out right when it finishes animating out another color comes in you've got your your youtube one plays and then your twitter one plays your twitch one plays really cool stuff and now i'm going to show you guys exactly how to export this so obviously you want to be in the final render tab of the uh, compositions over here so make sure you're in final render and select it then you want to go up to composition and add to render queue once you've added it to the render queue, it's gonna pull up this page here. You're gonna see where it says output module and lossless in blue. Go ahead and click on that. And then you just wanna change from format, from AVI to QuickTime. And then in the video output in the channels down here, change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha is the transparent background that you need so you, that you can put the lower third over your footage or over your Twitch stream. Just gives you that non-black background, a transparent background. So then you can just hit okay. And then once you change that, you come over here to output two where it says final render and you just wanna click on that and that's where you you can name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want inside of your computer, and then you just want to hit render over here and you are done. You've got some Saber lower thirds, Twitch, YouTube, 
Twitter, whatever you want to throw in there, custom saber colors going around. It looks incredible and uh, you've got it straight out of After Effects. All right, guys, and that is pretty much it for this video. It is awesome saber lower thirds that you can put inside of your Twitch stream and your YouTube channel. Once again, they look like this. They look incredible when you throw them over the footage. Saber always looks good when you throw it over footage just because it makes everything around it glow. It is really cool and I hope you guys enjoy the template. Once again, you can download it down in the description, but also down in the description is a link to placeit.net. It is my partner link. Like I said in the beginning, if you do not own After Effects, and you still want to create custom overlays and graphics for Twitch and YouTube and whatnot, you do not need After Effects. You can go to Place It right now and design awesome custom graphics, awesome custom, custom overlays, and then you can download them and throw them right into your YouTube, right into your Twitch, and it is super easy without owning After Effects. So make sure you jump down there and click on that link. But I will see you guys in the next video.